All right, so obviously this weekend is a big fight, right? Canelo versus Kovalev. Uh, Canelo's taking a, a, a move up in weight, going to 170. There's a lot of questions. There's a lot of what ifs. There's a lot of this and that. There's a lot of opinions being spread. We won't know what goes down until the actual fight happens, but that's what makes fight like fights like this uh, in particular so exciting is that there's so many different opinions, especially when we're talking about um, you know highly notable names uh, in the boxing community, whether it be hated, love, regardless. Um, you're gonna have a lot of different people talking, but I always like to go to the sources, and the sources like to go to the fighters. So, um, you know, what I'm saying I just thought we should present a couple of opinions in the fighting world about this particular fight that's happening rather than taking our own you know what i'm saying because uh, we don't know the game like they do our mind is nowhere near theirs so it's it's great to talk about what we think is going to happen but it's even better to hear from the masterminds himself danny garcia says canelo alvarez will get hurt against kovalev this is what he thinks and he believes he also thought that sean porter versus earl spence was a 50 50 fight which a lot of people did not believe he was right about that too so um, I'm just throwing that out there. That doesn't mean anything. Uh, I'm just thought I was go ahead and add that a little bit. Uh, let's talk a little bit about it. Danny Garcia thinks Sol Canelo Alvarez 52 1 and 2 35 kills. He's taking a dangerous fight this Saturday against light heavyweight champion Sergey Kovalev 34 3 1 29 kills in Las Vegas. The size of Canelo makes Garcia concerned about Canelo, and uh, it, it concerns everybody, right? But obviously, he's a lot more bulkier for this fight than usual, which we will talk about later. Andre Ward's comments on the fact that he decided to keep a certain amount of size on in this particular fight. Saul Alvarez looks, excuse me, Saul Alvarez, Alvarez looking to win his fourth division world title. Canelo is looking to expand his legacy by moving up two weight classes, which we all know. Kovalev is a dangerous fight for Canelo, says Garcia. This is what we're looking for right here, folks. The actual statement from Garcia. That's a dangerous fight for Canelo because of his size, says Garcia about Canelo's fight this Saturday, Kovalev can punch. I can see Canelo winning a close decision, but I think he's going to get hurt in that fight. I think he'll get stunned by the third or fourth round and come back. So, that's what makes articles amazing, right? You got to put a good headline on so you can draw him in. So, Danny Garcia wasn't saying that he thinks Canelo's going to get hurt and lose. He just thinks he might feel that power, but he does believe he's going to end up winning the decision against Kovalev. Do you believe that's how the fight's going to go as well? Does that make sense to you? What do you think? I want to know what you think. But let's also go ahead and see what David Benavidez thinks about the same fight. David Benavidez, what happens if Canelo can't keep Kovalev from coming forward? So let's see what he's talking about here. You got to go a little bit deep. All right, here goes the statement. Says, All right, I like this. This is a big statement from so we can get a little bit in depth on what he's talking about. I feel like Kovalev is amazing power and he has a lot of experience too. WBC super middleweight champion David Benavidez said to fight Hub and ally in the Canelo versus Kovalev fight. He's got an extremely strong jab. If he uses his jab right, he can give Canelo a lot of problems and can actually hurt him. This dude is knocking people out with jabs. He literally knock people out with jabs. I feel like the only thing that's keeping him from doing amazing in that fight is his training camp. Canelo always has amazing training caps and looks good, but in Kevlo's last, excuse me, Kovalev's last fight, he's been a little iffy. But I feel this is the fight he needs to be motivated as he needs to be because a lot of people are counting him out. I'm pretty sure a lot of people are counting him out. Whoever beats Canelo makes history. That's a fact. Obviously, though, if he does beat him I, I, or if even this, there's a draw, it's going to be a rematch, right? So, One more last opinion I wanted to uh, check out, and that's Andre Ward's. There's actually an article or a video I was seeing um, that he may come back, and we're going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about that tomorrow. That's going to be a topic to talk about tomorrow. But Andre Ward says Canelo making mistake bulking up for Kovalev fight. So let's see what he's talking about, huh? He, Kovalev, hits solid, but it takes more than that, said Andre Ward to fight hype. When asked if Kovalev still hits hard, I didn't see the big right hand against Anthony Yard. I watched the whole fight and called the fight, and I didn't see it and saw a good jab. But I saw an aging fighter. I saw a fighter that no longer has the confidence he once had, and he's no longer the crusher. That's no knock on him. He's Kovalev, Sergey Kovalev. There's a difference. That guy's a long gong, and he's been long gone. So Canelo's fighting Sergey Kovalev. He's still very formidable and very solid. He's still dangerous, but he's not that guy anymore. The first six rounds are going to be interesting. I think the best Canelo can do is get out of there two or three or four or two. If he gets out of there with two rounds and Kovalev has won four in first six, and then step it up in the last half of the fight. But Canelo's going to have to be in the lines then to get the work he wants to get in. So he's going to have to fight on the inside. I heard trainer Buddy McGirt say that Kovalev is going to hit 
the body, but Kovalev has never hit to the body. Excuse me, Kovalev has never hit to the body. He says, Ward, he's not trained like that, and it's not his foundation, so it's late in the game to start teaching that. He may land some shots, but he may be in range to get hit. It's too late for that. You may be able to teach him to do one or two things to stick him, but an all-out body attack? You're going to get hit and get hit more, so I've gone back and forth. I see Canelo stopping him late, and I can see it being a close fight. Kovalev is the type of dude right now where he's going to be as good as you allow him to be, said Ward, at his age with the amount of miles on his uh, uh, odometer. Excuse me, he's going to be as good as you allow him to be. And if Canelo fades with his extra mass, plus he's already fading at his normal weight, Kovalev may be a little better than people would think. I don't really have a prediction, but if I had to, I'd say Canelo late or maybe a decision, but there's a lot of things that can go different. Yeah, I didn't really see if Kovalev's power in his fight with Yard, and Yard fought a good fight, but I didn't see anything from Yard that did to where I thought that's why I didn't see the power. Kovalev has opportunities. So, Mostly, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's a lot more to it. I'm not going to get in depth with all of it, but, you know what I'm saying, those are three different predictions, you know what I'm saying. For the most part, from what I got from Garcia, Benavidez, and Ward, they all believe that Canelo is going to win, uh, which, in, obviously, I think if you check the, the odds for Las Vegas, Kovalev is an underdog. Me, personally, I'm not going to say my opinion yet. I'm going to say it later, but I agree with a lot of their statements, but I think a lot of people are going to be surprised with what type of fight we're going to end up seeing. What do y'all think about it? Go ahead and let me know what y'all think the predictions are. Um, as always, stay positive, Black Wiz TV, and stay up. You heard me? Oh, oh, me